Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, Eden has started. You might have seen a video. We're in the registration phase. However, we should be thinking, we should have been thinking about this a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't have time. But we should be thinking about how our spec points are set up. So, spec points are those things that you use during the Reign of Chaos. It's all about the honor. Uh, if you remember rightly, you can find them in this building. We can go into honor here. That's odd. If we can go into skill there, I guess. Why not honor? Interesting. I guess we go there now. Yes, we do. Fantastic. So that's where we can find our specialization. So remember during season one and season two, by taking tiles, by building buildings, by uh, lots of different various things, you could increase your honor. This increased your spec points. You could then put your spec points into these various trees. Those trees gave you various attributes, which were useful in either taking high level tiles, uh, attacking buildings, uh, gaining more honor. So at the end of the season, uh, what the smart people did was set themselves up for the beginning of the new season. Now, in Reign of Chaos Season X, or Eden, as it is more con commonly known, uh, the goal is to be able to take the highest level tiles as fast as possible. Tiles are still important. Loyalty is still important. You will not have to actually build your building. So that whole building an alliance center and putting your buildings around it sort of thing is not relevant anymore. You will build your buildings, but you will build them just within kind of like this menu. So similar to this, you're just going to click build, 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 build. They will then do the same things that they always did. Increase loyalty, uh, processing speed, uh, defense and all that kind of jazz. But they're not actually placed, you know, around like a thing type of thing. As far as I uh, recall or remember or not even remember. No. Um, but what we want to be able to do is take the highest level tiles at the earliest point. By taking the highest level tiles, we give us the, ourselves the opportunity to start a guild quicker. Those who can take high level tiles, I think, I believe it is level 12 tiles. Once you do that, you are then able to start a guild because you have taken over a city or something like that. As I said uh, in previous videos, this Eden thing is going to be a little bit up in the air as we kind of go into it. I don't want to be kind of saying things I don't necessarily know too much. However... What you need to do is set yourself up for this. You need to set yourself up to be the fastest tile taker, the highest level tile taker you can be on day one. You also want to set yourself up to have maximum amount of honor. Now, I want to make a, a massive, uh, nearly went a, a massive shout out to our Alliance member uh, R4 and uh, player since the beginning of the return uh, here uh, with me, uh, Tagwin. So Tagwin was a new player when he started and he has taken to it like a duck to water. He understands the things, he does the homework, he watches every single damn video I've ever made, as well as Lord of Pond and, and probably everybody else who's ever made videos as well, distills all that information and tries to plan his way into the future. So Tag, thank you very much for your help with this. I asked Tag, Tags, what's your setup? I know you've got a good setup. What are you doing? What are you preparing for? How are you going to do it? So you will see a little slideshow hopefully happening on the screen, which is some pictures that Tag has sent me about his current setup and then what he's going to be changing it to. We're going to go through that quickly. So if you can see, Tag has currently put most of his points, or split them in between the green and the blue. So basically, he set himself up at the end of last season. Uh, in order to maximize the honor potential during the off season and also to be ready for day one and that day one is ready to maximize honor build all the buildings so the first thing he did was to maximize that honor during the off season now i've mentioned this briefly before there is this skill here which when clicked when i just clicked it recently will give you 10,000 honor points per day now it's not a lot of honor but roughly over the two to three weeks, you could be looking at, what is that, 20 to 200,000 points on it? That's not too bad. It's nothing to be sneezed at, so you may as well do it. We get that one by going uh, this way to this little baby here. So civil engineering, not that little baby, sorry. This little baby here, the honor award, uh, which will give you that 10,000 points per day. So that's the first thing I would suggest you set up at the end of season two in preparation for season three is take your spec points all the way down here. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is obviously if you have enough resets and all of that kind of stuff, there is some variation between free to play players and uh, pay to play players, uh, money, players people who put in you get free specialization reset resets from uh, things like the seasonal uh, investment 
thingy, I don't know, the packages, all that kind of stuff. However, resets are relatively cheap through the Honor Store. I've always kept a couple, so I'm not going to say, oh, you should use this reset at this exact point, and then you'll get another one this week and do that reset for that. Like, just buy a couple of resets if you need them. They're not that expensive. However, so at the end of Season 2, set yourself up, get this skill going on. So during every day of the off season, you're going to be getting that 10,000 honor. Okay, we'll also be using this on day one in order to maximize the honor we gain from our buildings. If you look at this skill here, civil engineering, construction honor gains increased by 100% for two hours, eight hour cooldown. So basically this means if we build stuff, we're going to get 100% double the honor uh, when we're building those things. So that then leads us to the second setup that TAG has shown. And as I said, this little slideshow in the middle is showing you TAG setup. And you can see right now, all the way down, what is it, blue right down. So if we have a go look down here and look at that one like that. Honor structure, structure durability, building speed increased. Unlocks Assault Fortress 2, unlocks Assault Fortress 3, unlocks Assault Fortress 5 unlocks Assault Fortress uh, 4, whatever it is. Bam, all the way down here, and all of these things are gonna give us building speed increases, uh, which is fantastic. So basically, by coming all the way down here, we're unlocking three more buildings, or is it four more buildings? It's three more buildings. We're also unlocking the speed to make those buildings faster. So effectively, what TAG has told us to do here is we're gonna maximize our honor during the off season by going green all the way to here. And then we're going to set ourselves up for the on season for day one by maximizing the potential of honor we're going to get by building all of our buildings. By having this all set up on the literal split second when stuff starts, Tag is going to be able to, and me as well actually, I'm going to try and follow this, we're going to be able to come in here, bump this button here, civil engineering, which is going to give us 100% or double uh, honor points for the next two hours. We're going to go back into our backpack, we're going to grab a little uh, something, something. Where is it? Blah, 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 blah. One of those babies. Honor bonus. We're going to get another doubling of our honor for 30 minutes. Okay. This will be, this uses upgrading honor structures. Fantastic. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to build all of those buildings, speed them up as fast as possible, and just constantly level them up as fast as we possibly can. What we're going to get from that is a maximum amount of honor that we can possibly get. And I haven't done the maths, TAG hasn't done the maths, but TAG suggests that it could be one to three levels on your spec points. So one to three levels of honor uh, could be gained by maxing out that building, uh, structures, uh, those structure buildings, construction, using those two honor tickets and having your setup like that you're seeing in the middle of the screen, not necessarily on the left of the screen, which is my setup currently. So I'm gonna to have to do a quick reset because I've still got this laid over. I didn't actually change anything from the end of the season. And actually we might do that now. Yeah, we better do that now because you can't do it seven days. Ooh, we might have lost time because you can only do a reset every seven days if you're using the cheap tickets, which I am. Where are they? Da -da -da -da. Cool down seven days. Do we do it? Do we do it? Yeah, we do it. Do it. Somebody's going to tell me this is stupid to do, but I completely forgot to do it yesterday, so now we have to do it now. So let's go back in there and set up our things as uh, Tag is showing us there. So, on a bam. All right, first off, we want to go down this way. Learn. 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 Uh, which way do we want to go? I think we want to go straight through the center here. On a gain after building or upgrading. Resource cost reduction. Uh, material required. Now we really want to max this honor, so we're going all the way down the middle here. We're going to increase the honor we're going to get on day one by coming down here, like so. Now, if you have less tickets, you can maybe stop at this point. This is five, you know, it is quite a lot to get through here. Uh, however, I do find it is quite a good one, and it really, once your honor gets going again, it's quite a lot of points throughout the season. Uh, but let's just go through like so. Obviously, I don't have as many points as I could do. Only 36, which is pretty bad. I'm going to maximize this out as well. Cool, fantastic. So, there we are. We're ready for day one. We're going to be able to push this button here, maximize the honor we get by building our structures. So then let's go back in here. And now what we want to do is unlock as many of these structures and as many uh, speed increases to these structures as we can. All the way down here, like I so. saw. Going down this side because this increases the speed. This one here is the durability. We don't necessarily need durability. Uh, right now, coming down, bam. 
obviously we're not going to be able to get as far as Tag has got. Uh, but we come down like there, oh, we get to there. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not great. It's not great, but it'll do for us, <laughs> to be honest. So now we're set for day one of the Eden. Basically, we're going to be able to, and I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but I want to make sure you get it into your head. Day one, we're going to be able to immediately go on, pop those two tickets. This skill here, you know, uh, start that up and then go back in into our backpack. Got that, grab that on a skill a 30 minute one and pop that as well. It's going to give us double double for 30 minutes at the very least and then double for an extra hour and a half over that. We're then going to build as many of our structures and buildings as we can and we're going to speed up those buildings as fast as possible and get as many levels up as we can so that we're maximizing the honor gain hoping to get a three maybe oh look at us we could get four extra points uh but we don't know that's done all right day one is now done we're going to move on what we're going to do now is we want to maximize the amount of loyalty we have so that we can take higher level tiles so to do that, as I said, you can see scrolling uh, in the little slideshow in the middle there, what tag is suggested for day one. Um, and if we come back in, not there, hey, I said back in here, like a saw. All right, what we want to be doing here is we want to go, where is it? This way. So what we want to do here is we want to maximize the amount of processing queues that we have. Now, if you are paying uh, money for the uh, season pass or whatever it's called it does give you an extra processing queue so you can kind of stop here but we want to get at least two processing queues going uh, if not three so I would suggest and I would say I'm going to take it all the way so three points there four no three six nine uh, this is uh, ten thirteen seventeen and 18 so 18 points is going to get us all the way to there and that's going to give us two extra processing queues so we're going to have three processing queues remember we want to be processing that material as fast as possible so that we can then donate so in eden donating construction materials helps the guild grow um, and that's what we want to be doing we want to be maximizing the amount of materials we're getting out of this we're also going to be obviously using them to upgrade our building and then we want to be going with the rest of the tickets we can as far blue uh right down i think it is yeah blue right and i think down is probably the best way coalition bat healing cost minus one uh healing speed okay i guess you can go either up or down i would probably go down i think we want speed going here uh there's going to be a lot of people in the hospital during eden but what we want to do is we want to come across to here because each coalition base camp increases 15 percent 15 bonus loyalty so that means by having all of our coalition base camps built by having these things maxed out, these uh, kind of nodes opened up. Why won't you scroll over? There we go. We're going to be able to increase our loyalty, which means we're going to be able to take higher level tiles quickly. Remembering that each tile tier up requires another uh, set of loyalty to take. So the more loyalty you can have on day one, the better. Remembering also that the goal, obviously, is to take as high level tiles as possible, as fast as possible for Eden. That is literally the most important thing in the first couple of hours of Eden is to get that going. So just to repeat, we've got two setups here. One, which is pre-Eden. Yeah, we did that at the end of season two, or we didn't, but this is what I'm showing you, you should have done. Yeah, where we're going down, getting ready for this construction, and then we're going across here and getting this honor during the off season. This setup is then ready for day one. Yeah, when we're coming back straight in, we're building as many buildings as we can, we're building them as fast as we possibly can, and we're using those 100% tickets and that 100% skill in order to maximize the amount of honor we're getting and hence increase our spec points. Then we're doing a quick reset, and this all might be happening on day one, I reckon. Uh, depends on how fast you're going to be going. We're going to be doing a reset, and we're going to be going back in, and we're going to be doing what we did at the start of every season, and what you should do at the start of every season, is come in here, get your processing queues going, so you're processing more material, and get your loyalty up so you're taking higher level tiles. Is that... Is that sounds good? Is that sounds good? I think it does. When I asked Tag last week, or actually it was two weeks ago for this, for this information and why he did what he did, um, he sent me quite a lot of information, all these little screenshots you see in the middle. So again, I want to reiterate how thankful I am for that. But also it was a lot of information. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah, this for this? Okay, and this ticket? What is this ticket? And obviously he has quite a few higher points than me. So I was like, okay, I can't do that. How do we do it? But I think I've distilled the wisdom of Tag. Um, 
And as I said, I do believe this to be the best setup and the best way to go. And hey, look, obviously it's going to rely on how many points you have, whether you're paying uh, for seasonal uh, you know, passes and all that kind of stuff, all those little extra buffs you can get, or whether you're not. So what I've shown you in the middle is what TAG is doing, and I think TAG has done a little bit of season pass investment. And then I've shown you what I've done. Um, and I've done none of that, but also I've been very lazy, so <laughs> I should definitely have more points than I have. But somewhere in the middle ground, you might find yourself. Um, all you need to do is just make sure you're ready for that day one, maximizing that honor, and then getting those tiles as high as you possibly can. Let me know down below if you have any questions. Again, thank you for, to the wonderful Tag for uh, doing this. Uh, and I'm sure in the future he will be providing me with more information. As I said, I'm incredibly lazy. And the more people that want to... Uh, Show me how to do things, the better. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Make sure you eat some cheese. See ya.